Sisa. I'm a Yamaji Wonga woman from WA. My great grandfather came here as a Camellia. He got married to a Yamaji woman called, named Mary Martin. They had four kids. One of them was my granddad. Because of the fear they were taking kids away, um, he went back to Afghanistan. And then my granddad came back here to trace his mom. To me, Aboriginality means a lot. It means my identity through history. Uh, welcome, welcome. Um, welcome to Blackside Story and welcome to the Footscray Community Arts Centre. My name is Paola Bella. I am a Wemba Wemba and Gunditjmara woman from um, country Victoria. I'm not a traditional owner to this country, but I'm very honoured to live and work and walk on this country. Okay, I'm Jen Barry and I'm the director and the CEO here at Footscray Community Arts Centre. And I'm so excited because tonight is the opening night of Black Side Story. And Black Side Story is one of the kind of key projects that we've been working on um, with our Indigenous cultural program, which has only been going for one year. And fingers crossed, um, we'll get some money to continue that wonderful program because the response has been fantastic. The local talent in the western suburbs of Melbourne in terms of Indigenous artists is just to die for internationally and so I, I can't imagine that there'd be any reason why this would not continue in the future. Hi, I'm KJ, Karen Jackson. Um, at Moondani Ballack Indigenous Academic Unit at Victoria University and I'm part of the Black Side Story. It's a great show, have a look at it online, it's absolutely brilliant, you'll learn some wonderful things. There's a whole set of black people from the western suburbs of Melbourne on there. Go check it out. Hi, <laughs> uh, welcome to Black Side Story, I'm Paola Bella. Uh, I'm a Wimba Wimba and Gunditjmara woman and artist, arts worker. My role on Black Side Story was bringing community together, uh, looking after the cultural concepts, uh, a little bit of the writing and just making sure that our Indigenous participants were safe and ready and um, you know knew what the process was. And um, yeah, and as a result we've got this amazing exhibition and uh, John and Tamsin from Zingy Bolmeet have done an incredible job as has everyone here at Footscray Community Arts Centre. So hi, I'm Tamsin Sharp. I was the filmmaker involved with Black Side Story and basically what that involved was sitting down initially with the planning committee and coming up with conceptual ideas of how things might work and then um, coming up with these ideas and moving away and actually working with the community to create video clips and um, I've always had this concept where I've done about seven different projects with um, something called a digital quilt and the digital quilt which is on the Android um, touchscreens for this exhibition is something I've done before but I really loved it in this particular exhibition because it was looking at um, something really powerful which is like what does it mean to you to be an Aboriginal person as, as the leading question and I just think some of the really brave and honest responses that came out of, of that one question and, and how they all came together was just really beautiful and really moving and inspiring. And, um, and then I did also the editing of the elders clips as well and put all that together so coming up with a way to actually allow the elders to tell their stories in an in a open and um, safe environment as well as um, editing them together and presenting them to the public and that was pretty much it so but really happy how it's all come together and just looks beautiful um, and yeah hopefully it has some legs and goes to other places that people can do the work. I see myself more as a face, because a lot of people know me, but there's a lot of people doing all the work. So, like um, Bala, they've done, and Frisco Arts Centre, they've all done the work, right? But because I've been, I suppose, in a way, 20, 30 years in the area, uh, a lot more people know my face. So, um, Whilst, yeah, I'm being involved, but I, I, I see myself more as a participant and it's the next step because the next generation has taken that step to pick it up and um, do things and try and get more things done, whereas I'm more um, 
Yeah, Uncle Larry, yeah, yeah. He helped set things up, but that's it. You know, um, you can't live on 20, 30 years, you know. If the next generation takes it up, good. My participation in this exhibition was about celebrating the stories of this area from my ancestor down to where my brother played a role in. He was a projectionist and then he managed the La Scala Footscrow. We used to come here in our holidays and we lived over this side of the world, so it was about a reconnection. Now I, I'm a part of this beautiful complex here when I'm here. I'm here between Darwin and Melbourne. So Footscray is about where the base is, but it's about reconnecting back to this place. Where kids that I grew up with in Gippsland, they moved here because they were working with the railways. And then my brother was the projectionist and the manager for La Scala Theatre, which brought in international film. So as a young girl, I used to think, wow, understand the language but it was the starting of the movement of um, international people relocating here. The Italians, the Greeks, the Maltese which were a major part of my life. So it's about the history of the connection and reconnecting back and creating a narrative about how this place played out a major role in the